Hello everybody, it is day one of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Series 13. And I have this up here because I want to show you guys, I was smart this time, or I feel like I was, and I have got all 30 days, technically it's 31, we have a bonus sketch this month, 31 days planned out, y'all. So, today is day one, so I'm starting, let's see if I can show you the sketch here without causing too much ruckus. I don't want to spoil it during this price. So here's sketch one. It is by Rachel Gilliand, and she has, am I on camera? Let me make sure. She has three big hexagons, bunch of little bitty hexagons. She's got some embellishments here. I'm assuming the picture goes here and title there. And what I pulled out is I do have day, uh, that's my day one, Be Happy by Echo Park. And I go, cause I mean, it's hexagons, y'all. It's not like rocket science to use B paper, right? And I have this picture of my daughter. I don't think I'm gonna be cutting that into a hexagon, so I gotta figure, so I'll probably maybe mount it on a hexagon. And I still have to figure out how to make my hexagons. I'm thinking I might print it out on a piece of paper, make a template and go from there. Cause I don't have a die big enough, I don't think. I'll double check myself. But this is what I'm gonna start with y'all. So let's get going. Okay y'all, I'm gonna just quick check in here. So good news is I was able to print off a hexagon off the internet, so I will cut that into a little template. The bad news is my little die said here, I wish I had a punch because all I have is a die and to do all these little hexagons is going to take me a minute. It's going to take me a hot minute. So, um, I'm going to have to go off in order to do that because y'all are not going to sit here and watch me cut. So I'm going to use my big shot and I think this size right here is the right size based on, um, what I see on the sketch. And I'm going to think I'm going to use, because what I'm think I'm going to do here is I got this black cardstock. And I think I'm gonna double mat like this. She doesn't really show that, but you know what? I'm the boss of my own layout, so I'm gonna double mat. And then I think, I think I'm gonna cut these into the little hexes here. So we'll have like little florals. And then the, the ones, there's a few little dark ones um, mixed in. And I think I'll just flip them and I'll use this side, I think. That's what I'm thinking. Cause I don't think I want to use I don't know if I have enough of this size here. So I think I'm gonna use this size here. And I'll debate. I don't know if I'm gonna cut this until after I've cut my hexagons to make sure when I lay it down, it's not too, you know, busy or some such. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. So give me just a minute and I'll be back on. Okay, you guys, quick check in. So um, I did gut my black and I've got my two hexagons and I think I'm gonna stick with two hexagons and put my picture in the middle. But I think um, I'm okay to actually I'll shrink this down and then this will go on top. I've got, y'all, I had to cut 20, <laughs> I think it was 24 hexagons with my little die. So that took me a minute. And yeah, I think this is gonna look really cute like this. So I'm gonna do it like this and like that. And then I have my daughter's picture here and I think I'm gonna mat her on the yellow and then the little bees here. And so that's what's gonna go in the middle. So I'm not gonna have that middle hexagon. Mine's gonna be this just because I don't want to cut her picture down. That's not going to look right, y'all. I'm hanging on to this, though, because this is a good little stencil now. So, he is staying taped to my light. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and trim these down, and I'll map my photo, and then we'll come back on in just a minute. Um, and so then I can do, like, because i got to still embellish the top and the bottom, too, y'all. So, and i got to figure out my title. I have the sticker sheet here. So... I kind of like Be Beautiful Day. I don't know if I can, I might can cut the between that and do something. So let me see what I got going on here. So give me just a second and I'll be back on. Well, y'all, that came to get, this has come together so cute. I'm really happy with it. So what I've done is I have glued the little gray heart paper on top of that floral, on top of that gutted black. I probably could and should have gutted the yellow floral on the one hand because, you know, it was almost completely covered up. But on the other hand, I want to use up this <laughs> this collection here. So I did not get the yellow floral. So now I'm just going to kind of piece together my little hexagon shapes here. Kind of part of the, not kind of part of sketch. I pretty much follow the sketch basically for the, little, the positioning of it. Although I will need to move it up. So I've used that ruler just to make sure I've got them aligned. And I'll put this all together and I'll realize, well, you're way too far down on the page, Christine. So <clears throat> I will end up moving all of this like basically up. And you'll notice this is where I mentioned in the sketch there was like three little dark shadow hexagons, and I've I've flipped it over and used that gray, the black and white like plaid. 
Now, I will tell you that the hexagon shape is a little bit hard to see on top of the pattern because the, the floral is a kind of a, a softer pattern, but I'm totally fine with that. I didn't necessarily want it to be like in your face. And so I'm actually really happy with this. I think this turned out really adorable. And I'm pleased because I only, I only ended up with one extra hexagon and I almost left it on there. And I thought, no, that's not on the sketch and I'm kind of happy without it. So you'll see, I think I actually leave it on there for a little while thinking I might, I might glue it down, but it does not stay. Now I am gonna come in here in just a moment. I'm just kind of checking to make sure where I've got those laid out is in a, a good spot. And after I go off camera here, I'm just gonna use some Nuvo glue and glue those spot, the little hexagons down where they are at the moment, except for the one that's kind of extra. And the one that's kind of extra is on the bottom right. So you'll notice in the very end, I think on the, the slowdown, you'll notice it's gone, but it lays there for a little while. Now, I did decide that I was gonna make the title be that beautiful day. So I'm gonna put foam up behind it because I do want it on top of the hexagons. And then I also, I'm gonna put foam underneath the photograph. So here's where I'm going to glue down. I will shift that over to the right just a tad, I think, in just a moment. I, I set it down there. Um, hers, is hers is kind of in the, not kind of, I think it's actually basically in the center. Mine ends up off center just a tad, uh, I think because my title's a little bigger maybe. And I don't actually use the piece of paper either. She had like a little uh, piece of paper under the title, I think to break up the hexagon so you could read the title. I don't actually do that because I did do the foam and there's a white outline around the letter. So I didn't really think it was necessary. So I did not add the little piece of paper underneath there. But here's where I got my little foam. Now then, th again, like I said, this, this layout actually went really quickly. So once I get all this glued down, I'm going to get onto my sticker sheet and I'm just going to use um, some of the elements off the sticker sheet as the the embellishments that she showed. Now she used stars, remember, but I'm gonna end up using the little like bee honey, you know, type things. So here I'm getting gluing, and I'll add, I'll add a little thing on the title section over there too. I'm gonna add a little, little pot of honey. So here's where I'm gonna get into my sticker sheet and I pull that flower out first. He's gonna go on top. Um, I'm trying to think, I know on the bottom, I put two of the elements up on foam. I don't put any on the top up on foam. I'm not sure why I made that decision, to be honest, other than I think because my photo was up on foam, and I don't know. I'm not really sure why I didn't put any of the top ones on foam, but I'm, I'm almost pretty certain I did not. I do like these little bees. I think these little bees are so cute, and I have loved this collection of these little bees. Um, he gets adjusted just a tad. Um, down on the bottom, I'll end up with a floral. I try this little border thing here, thinking maybe I could do something. No, I, it was cut funny and decided against it, so that was not going to work. So I put that back. On the bottom down there, I'm gonna pull off like a little honey pot. I have that little word there. Uh, it's gonna go on the bottom. Actually, I'm messing with it up there. That's not where it goes. That goes down there. Like I said, I'll pull out the little honey pot there. He's gonna go at the bottom too. <laughs> no, no, so sorry. That's actually a little cute phrase. Um, that's a speech bubble. He does stay up there. That's the one piece I think to myself I might should have put on foam. Um, but I did not. I don't really know why, like I said. It just stayed down there. I think because, again, I think because my picture was up on phone. You know, sometimes you make decisions and just not really sure why. But it looks cute anyway. And then I'm building, like I said, I've just got my little section here. Now I do have two, two tiny little flowers on the bottom too. And I'll put one of those up on foam. And then I think I put that little honey pot up on foam. And then now you can kind of see on the close-up, you can see the bottom pieces I put up on foam there. And then um, I want to add that little honey pot up on the title area where it says beautiful day. And then I added one little honey pot up on top too. I think that looks really cute, y'all. This turned out adorable. I think it's a great day one. So thank you so much for the sketch. And y'all, I'm so excited for the next month. I've got my box of layouts over here. And also don't forget, I do have uh, scrapping, or good grief, I can't even think. It's on Sundays, uh, scra uh, craft afternoon, scrapping craft. Good, great. Y'all watch Sundays. There's a Monday hop, a Friday hop, all the good things. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.